Deep in the vault of glass, the fabric of reality bends to the will of the Vex. Warlocks speak in tones of awe of the Gorgons, creatures that seem to possess a dreaded, almost unimaginable strength, an ontological weapon. The Gorgon's ability must be tied to the nature of the Vault of Glass. We can take some solace in the clear fact that the Vex cannot manifest this power in the world outside. Welcome back Guardians, today we are discussing something slightly different, yet still with a lore aspect, and that is the remastered strike mission, the Nexus, that will be released with the Dawning on the 13th of December. With the release of the Dawning, the Nexus mind, Will of Crota, aka Omnigal, and the Shadow Thief, aka Tanix, have had additional mechanics and or enemies included, specifically the Taken and Seaver. Today I wanted to have a closer look at whether the Nexus Strike had any justification from a lore point of view, and whilst the new Grimoire cards are not available yet, the in-game dialogue during the new missions provide some insight. Hopefully this video will provide some clarification to whether the new Strike mission fits well with the foundational lore of Destiny, or if the reskinned material is a little bit off. Obviously, if you do not want to know anything about these new strike missions, I suggest leaving now, as this video will contain spoilers. This is Mylan Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny Law critique episode. First off, let me say that new content is always welcome, and this is by no means complaining about new content but more so exploring Destiny's most common criticism, i.e. the story. And for those who have watched previous Bungie livestreams, you likely got the impression, as I did, that the story is created in parallel with the game mechanics, i.e. the story is not written first while the rest of the team takes a break, and then the team makes the game after the story has been written. It is a dynamic process with both the writing team and the developers creating content at the same time. Consequently, mechanics do not always have a lore justification. With that being said, let's take a look at the new Nexus Strike mission. The general lore surrounding the Nexus is that the Nexus is a world-eating machine that has the ability to convert planets into a part of the Vex network. This is reinforced by the Secreon Nexus Mind Grimoire card, which reads... Secreon oversees the expansion of the Vex network through the crust of Venus. Destroying Secreon should significantly hamper the Vex effort to incorporate the entire planet into their network. I imagine that if we did not stop Secreon, Venus would end up looking a lot like Mercury, as the Vex consumed Mercury. The new Nexus Strike mission has been updated with two alternative endings, one includes Taken Enemies and the Vault of Glass Aegis Relic, and the other is the standard Nexus Mind, however with the Vault of Glass marked by the Void mechanic. Whilst the new mechanics act as a way to increase the variety of gameplay, Cade also explains that the Vex have taken technology straight from the Vault of Glass. He says, and listen to this, scouts report that the Vex have upgraded the Nexus mind with tech from the Vault of Glass. I assume the tech refers to the 360 degree shield that surrounds the Nexus mind, identical to the Templar shield, the Aegis relic, which is used to disable this shield, the ability to mark guardians with the void, and the corresponding pools of light which cleanse them. It is difficult to find a logical reason to why the Vex would bring back the Aegis Relic. The Aegis Relic was created by Kaber, a fireteam member of Praetith and Pahanan, who ventured into the Vault of Glass. Kaber made the Relic in his dying moments using his own light and material from the Vex. We used the Relic to disable the Templar's shield in the Vault of Glass, ultimately allowing us to kill the Templar. So why would the Vex take this from the Vogue and arm Guardians with it? in the Nexus Strike. The only explanation I could think of is that the Vex armed Guardians so that they could destroy the Taken Nexus Mind. Remember in this scenario, Secreon is already taken. We know from the Books of Sorrow that the Vex have always had a hard time defeating the Taken, well, defeating Oryx, so maybe once again they have leveraged the abilities of Guardians by providing the Relic and allowing them to defeat the Taken Nexus Mind. Even so, I do think this theory is a bit of a stretch, and I think it more likely that this is the case of game mechanics being prioritised over the law. However, 
the marked by the void mechanic has far more interesting implications. In the Vault of Glass, when Atheon opens the time stream and sends Guardians back in time, we are marked by the void. The abilities that the Vex possess inside the Vault of Glass are meant to remain inside the Vault. The Vex are trying to extrapolate their powers to our world to merge themselves with the fabric of the universe, but previously have been unsuccessful. The Gorgon's Grimoire card says, We can take some solace in the clear fact that the Vex cannot manifest this power in the world outside. So with the new Nexus Strike, we now see previous Vex abilities from the Vault occurring in our world slash reality. From a law point of view, this is quite a jump in Vex technology and is definitely a cause for concern for the Vanguard. What I find most interesting is this does provide a pathway for the Vault of Glass to be remade. It gives a reason for Guardians to re-enter the Vault of Glass to stop the Vex from using any more of its power. To make the Vault of Glass relevant again, all they would need to do is introduce the Vault of Glass that exists in a different timeline, which is where the Vex are drawing power from and using in the Nexus. And therefore we must go to this Vault of Glass and stop the Vex from extracting any more Vogue tech. To summarize the first two points before moving on, the addition of Kaber's Relic does not quite suit the law, but in general, Volga tech being used outside the Vault of Glass, like Marked by the Void, has some big implications for the growing power of the Vex. Let's move on to the inclusion of the Taken in the Nexus Strike. The most obvious question is how are the Taken still being created in the absence of Oryx? The in-game dialogue provides some clarity to this. It says, Hold on, I am reading massive numbers of Taken. It's an invasion. Usually all you see out here is Vex. Kate. Remember when the scholars said that the Taken would not be any trouble once we killed the King? Maybe they should grab a gun and come out here. Cade. Their leadership has filtered downward. Take out the Captain's Guardian. Ikora. Taken have been aimless since their King's demise. For them to concentrate their forces here mean they understand the value of the Nexus Mind. Ikora. Ikora basically implies that someone else has taken the Hive leadership, and we can only assume that whoever has done this has the ability to take enemies. To understand how plausible this is, you need to be able to understand how Oryx would make the Taken. Oryx only gained the power to take after killing the Worm God Arca and creating the Tablets of Ruin. He then used the Tablets of Ruin to commune directly with the Deep slash the Darkness, which then gave him the ability to make Taken enemies. So I don't think it is as simple as the leadership filtering down to the next in line, and for new Taken enemies to have been created. Whoever has taken Oryx's place must be in possession of the Tablets of Ruin and communed with the Darkness to understand how to create the Taken. Bungie will eventually have to provide some clarity to who is making new Taken enemies, unless they decide to no longer include Taken enemies, which I think is highly unlikely. As it stands, and without having read the new Grimoire card for the Nexus Strike, Bungie has done much of the same. The lore introduced in this strike through in-game dialogue is general enough to be plausible, and not only plausible, but actually hold great influence over Destiny storylines, such as Guardians returning to the Vault of Glass, the Vex manifesting powers outside of the Vault of Glass, and someone claiming the Hive Throne with taken abilities similar to Oryx. Yet, for a play that does not read the Grimoire cards, I think many will still be left scratching their head trying to understand the relevance to Destiny's storyline. All I can hope is that these deep and intricate aspects of the lore are better delivered in-game and in the future, and in the meantime, I hope the new Nexus Strike Grimoire card at least has hints at some of these larger plot lines involving the Vex and the Taken. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to support the channel, leave the phrase Return of Vogue to acknowledge how the new Nexus Strike may provide reasons to return to the Vault of Glass. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.